Hello guys, today's topic is regarding transport request and it is a different topic uh, you will not find it usually in any SAP tutorial so but this is a uh, basic and main uh, process which is used uh, during support or implementation projects or rollout projects so what is a transport request the short form is TR so a transport request uh, collects development objects and categories for export to your local computer or to an SAP sub transport system so what is done is uh, when we when there is when we do configuration or creation or maintain a data in SAP in the development server so this information is stored in the transport request and then it is transferred to the quality server and then to the production server so that this uh, transport request remains the same it consists of uh, letters and numbers the name of the transport request you can add a short description as well for explaining what this tr contains the name of the transport request does not contain any characters so there are two types of transport request one is the workbench request which is usually used by the appapas so you do any uh, changes or creation uh, which is abap related which is technical gets stored in the workbench request that is when you do any changes in the program you write a code or change any code it will be transferred to a workbench request only second is the customizing request so any configuration creation or any changes in the development server will lead to a customizing request customizing request a client specific okay so the transaction code for uh, transport request are se01 se09 se10 so you get the transport request details here like you get to know which transport request is transferred to the quality of the production system okay so let's see on the sap system how to create a transport request so this is the screen where i'm making changes this is the standard this is the height so previously it was standard I'm changing it to hide. I have to hide this field. So this is the change I'm making. So I'm saving this. After you save. So it is asking me to create a transport request. Okay. So this the changes which I have done is related to personal administration so I will click the create icon here create request now the customizing request the, num the name of the transport request will be defaulted here when I save this so first I am adding the short description so since this is related to personal administration I am naming it as personal administration and I will enter the date as well you can also select the project here so it shows the status as new and the last change date and the timing You can save this so you can see a transport request has been created 
with letters and numbers there are no characters and I'll, I have also added the short description here so I am saving this so the data was saved in the transport request which I have created so when I transfer this transport request to the quality server this change will also reflect in the quality server so when we test this change in the quality server after the transporting or transferring the request we can see that the change made in the development server is similar to the change made in the quality server so let us see the t codes involved here so the t code for checking the transport request is se01 so why i'm putting here slash and n is to end this screen and open a new screen with t code se01 you use slash n so here you can see so the user is which i'm using these are the request type customizing request and workbench request so these are, if i want to view only the workbench request i will select only workbench or else both so, so what is the request status modifiable and released released means the request which are released to the next server that is the quality server so currently i have made only the changes i have not transferred so i am selecting released as well and you click display so here you can see the transport request which i had created can be seen here with a client login id the short description which i had given and this is the transport request which i had created you can see the changes which i had done here img activity change screen modifications all is stored in the table in sap so this is the screen number which i had changed so 800 is the client number and mp0001 is the screen which I had done changes so these this all changes will be transferred to quality and then to production through the transport request so since I have not released any request to the next server that is the quality so you cannot see any released request here this was a customizing request not a workbench request so it is showing customizing so hope you have understood what is a transport request and how to create it and check the status of the transport request thank you